What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are in Pomona, California at the Off-Road Expo. It's one of the biggest off-road shows in Southern California, probably on the West Coast in general. Uh, 150 acres. All right, I got my son helping me today. High five. So yeah, let's go into the show and show you guys what it's like to go to the uh, Off-Road Expo. And right off the bat, check this out. This actually caught my eye right here. Black Series Caravans. These guys are from Australia. That thing actually pops up on the top there. And everything on this is overbuilt. Look at that. Two spare tires. And the uh, suspension on these things are insane. Yeah, suspension on that thing? Holy moly. It's got a trailing arm suspension, Some rock stuff. sliders, diamond plate that goes up about, I don't know, two or three feet. Check out the frame on this thing. Beefy, really beefy. All right, so now you can see the top of the uh, camper pop up. It's got those uh, pneumatic assist arms to pop it up. So here's your Dometic fridge, three burner gas stove, hot and cold water sink. It's all just uh, drawers, look at all those drawers. It's a microwave down there. You got your own toilet, you got a sink. It looks like you have a Dometic um, air conditioner up top. I like this, this is nice. Yes. So you can transform this into a bed and then this is a bunk bed up here yes, and then you yes. also have a bed there. You can fit a lot of people in here. Yes. That's nice, I like that. Check out this teardrop trailer, man, that's cool. I see this one here every year and uh, it's still impressive to see. Rooftop tent. You can actually rent this thing too. Pretty cool. Propane, you got your stove, full kitchen in the back. Look at that. There's your fridge, freezer, water. Got everything, and here's your awning. Look at that. Wow, check out this Tundra. This is nice. Oh my God, it's even in the color I like. It's in silver. Let's go front to back here. Whole bunch of LEDs up here. Rigid Industries LEDs, Warren Winch, Factor 55 Link, got a Camberg suspension, Fox Reservoir shocks, General Grabber tires. What are these? These are Method wheels. Got some more rigid pod lights there, and another rigid light up there on top. Got a Camberg rack. Look at that rack. That's nice. Very nice. Camberg, 1997. Got some rock sliders on there. I like this uh, bed cage. This is also by Camberg. Look, there's a little tiny LED right there. There's an ARB awning. Action packers. Those come in handy. Here's your roto packs for your spare fuel. More LEDs, tons of LEDs. Two full size spares. There's your ARB fridge in the back. This is so nice. There's an ARB uh, rooftop tent. That is amazing. Let's get one more shot of this thing before we leave because it's just so sexy. Love it. My dream truck. Check this one out. I think this is a 2014 maybe. Maybe 2015. One of those years. But uh, look at this thing, man. It's got like the scissor ax axles in the front. Wow. Got some serious suspension work going on in here. King Off-Road. Reservoir shocks. Raceline beadlocks, Toyo Open Countries wide body kit. Check out these uh, desert lights, Baja designs. I kind of like those. I don't know why. I, I kind of like those old school lights better than the uh, thin little LEDs. Look at that long, super long travel trailing arm. Woo. Long travel in the front. 
long travel in the back, the wide body. Here's your fuel cell, two full-size spares, racing jack. Oh my God, that is a nice axle. This guy put some serious money into this thing. Look at the uh, exhaust coming out the side right there. This thing's probably a hundred thousand dollars. That is cool. Like I said, these Chevys don't get a lot of uh, love at these shows. Usually it's dominated by Toyota and uh, the Raptors. That's nice. Check out this Range Rover. You don't see a lot of these out here. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, I don't know exactly which model of Range Rover this is, but it's uh, probably a uh, 90s, I think, maybe. Those beadlocks got beat to hell. They really ride this thing hard, man. This is a vehicle that actually gets used. See some Dana 60s in there. Solid axles. Got a winch, worn winch up front. That's the XD9000. Cummins turbo diesel. That's what I'm talking about. How can you go wrong with a Cummins under the hood? The ammo can for a center console. Roll cage. Roof rack up there. ARB awning. That's nice. Historic vehicle. That's cool. Look at this Jeep Cherokee at the jcroffroad.com booth. I grew up with two of these actually. My parents had two. They had a white one and a red one. These are so cool. Look at it. Got armor on here. There's actually a, I guess you consider that a step bar. So you can step on this and climb up to the, uh, to the roof rack. And that is so cool. I wish I still had one of these. They're unibody, but they are the most badass unibodies on earth. They still kick ass. Pretty much stock on the inside except for the CB stuff. I like their roof rack. Icon wheels, those are expensive. Real beadlocks too. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having an old Cherokee again. You can really make these things into good uh, overland vehicles for sure. Just got to get a good engine though. So check that out. It's eight feet wide. It's got a turbo diesel under the hood. Look at that. It actually looks tiny in there <laughs> because this thing is so big. This Jeep is just so humongous. It's got a winch up front. One winch, Tacta 55 Link. Look oh, yeah, at the size of this thing, man. It's huge. Those are military wheels, by the way. Military, like deuce and a half wheels. Singles, the super singles. Yeah, that is a Jeep go kart. I mean, that is awesome. I love to have this thing. It has a spare tire and extra fuel. Can I fit in here? Let's see if I can fit in here. We could fit in here. This would be a lot of fun right here. Ooh, look at this uh, Toyota Tacoma at the Air Raid booth. KMC wheels. 
That's nice. Let's lift it up nicely. Let's take a look at this game kind of close because it's really nice. Look, they have like a some kind of like rhino liner on the grill. That's nice. I like that. We got bulldog LED lights in there. Factor 55 link. There's a camera in the front that comes in handy, I'm sure. Of course, you got the air raid intake. Inside's pretty much stock. And then in the back, here's another one of those bed cages. This is by CBI or Can't Break It. Like it. Let's take a look at the rear. Oh, it's got stock axle. Stock axle. CBI has the coolest bumpers, man. Look how far back CBI makes their bumpers. Cool cage. You need these cages when you're rocking a 150 pound rooftop tent on top. This thing's moving side to side, back and forth. You need something super strong. This is a Cascadia vehicle tent. Let's take a look inside here real quick and see. Probably can't see anything, but got a lot of room up there though. Look at this, a forerunner at the Black Rhino booth. That's nice. Baja Designs LEDs, these are cool, man, I like that. It's like a pod style LED instead of a, a bar. Hefty Fab Works. Never seen those guys before. Man, look at that bumper. This bumper is nice. Black Rhino wheels. Very cool. Maxxis tires. Fox Reservoir shocks. Camber. Suspension. Okay, the Baja Design pods. This is really nice. Inside, nicely done. Look at those leather seats. I mean, the lift, it's got a small lift, but it still has enough where I can actually reach something on the rack up here. That's nice. this off-road jack it's got off-road wheels it's got square headlights I've never seen one of these before I got the solid axles though stinger bumper single cab 
Daystar containers. Full size spare in the back. Not much of a bid, but it is a bid. It's tiny. It's cool, man. CJ10. You don't see a lot of CJ10s out there. All right, we're at the body armor booth. This is nice. I like how it flows with the bumper there, or the grill. It's always nice. Plain and simple, TRD 4x4 off-road. Got the truck cage in the back. Tough Stuff Overland, that's their rooftop tent. I like it. Check out this Ford Explorer, that's cool. Little tiny lift, bead locks. This is not really a bumper, this is more like a bumper protector kind of bar. That's cool. Some LEDs, KC lights up top, got a rooftop tent. This is actually pretty cool, man, I like this. LGE CTS Motorsports. It's nice. So this is like a protector kind of thing. You still keep your stock bumpers, but it's like a basically like kind of like rock sliders, I guess. That's cool. I hadn't seen that before. You keep your stock bumpers, but you can still get some rock protection. So this is our Stealth Bomber. This is gonna be the best uh, production electric bike that you can buy. Uh, so it is 116 pounds. It has a top speed of 50 miles and it will go 50 miles on a two hour charge. Plugs into normal 110 or 220. It's aircraft grade aluminum on the frame with a lifetime warranty. And then all the other parts are heavy duty downhill mountain bike parts which we warranty for a year, including the battery and the motor. Wow. On the bomber, we have uh, a nine speeds on it, on an enclosed gearbox. And that way we don't have to run derailers or anything else. It's just a single chain ring in the front and a free wheel in the back. And you can change to all nine gears right here. Wow. And then 
We have a hydraulic system, four pistons on 105 millimeter rotors. So it's got a lot of stuff, and we also have regenerative braking, which you hold the button right here for. And then this bike doesn't have a cadence sensor, and it's throttle only. So if you want to go, you twist and you go. Twist and go, simple. Yep. Yeah. Yep. How much does something like that sell for? So our bomber is going to be starts at ten thousand four hundred. All right, guys, so there you have it. That was our time at the Off-Road Expo in Pomona, California. Pretty awesome show if you're in the Southern California area. Definitely worth the time to drive out here and check it out. All right, hit that like button to support my channel. Appreciate it. Helps me out a lot. And leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the Off-Road Expo.